Hi friends, welcome back. I have another DIY for you. I am going to be using these Dollar Tree placemats, the uh, really cute lemon. Um, my kitchen is like a farmhouse and then I also have different fruits and vegetables, um, paintings and pictures and pretty much everything comes from Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I need a runner. My husband made me a, um, a an island table. We, we have a very small house, um, but I love it. And our kitchen's pretty small. We don't have too much counter space. So I wanted an island. And the island that he made for me actually matches a workbench that I redid to put in my kitchen. That was his great, uh, great grandfather's. And so I had him made me that, but it needs something on the top. So I went to Dollar Tree. I found these placemats, which I've been searching for. And I'm gonna make a table runner. It's going to be very easy DIY. I try to make all my DIYs very easy uh, where anyone can follow them. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is taking all the tags off and then taking off this tag, being very careful not to cut it. Now you can sew these together and I would probably recommend that actually. I will probably end up doing that later, but for right now I am just going to use hot glue. So if they get dirty, I will not be able to wash them until I do sew them. I'm not a big sewer. I did get a sewing machine from my mom. Um, <laughs> but the machine she gave me is very old and it actually got stuck on me and I can't figure out how to fix it. And my mom, like I said in some other videos, is no longer with me. So I'm kind of having to teach myself. <laughs> it's not going so well, but I'll get it. Probably go on YouTube and find out that way. Okay, so easy peasy. All I'm gonna do is hot glue one to the other, just like that. So I get my hot glue. Let me get, I just wanna make sure the hot glue is clear because sometimes I have an old hot glue and it sometimes will be brown. All right, so I'm just gonna do a thin layer. Do that two more times.
there you go. Easy as that. Now let's go upstairs and put her on the table. All right, here it is. I love it. It looks so awesome. Now, um, this table is not done yet. There is still some pieces of wood that are missing on each side and the bottom. Uh, we kind of ran out of wood. So as soon as we get the other pieces of wood I am going to actually paint this um, sorry for the mess <laughs> like this this is the the, the workbench that I was talking about that I turned in and redid for the kitchen so the bottom right here is going to be like this I'm gonna have the white with like the uh, sketch marks the top of this, I am going to be staining this color. So the top will match that, the staining on that, and then the bottom will match that. I think that will look super, super nice, but I am so in love with this lemon runner. It looks great and like I said I do have the lemon plates and I put some of them right here in this little corner just um, to display them but I do have some in my cabinets to use so all right friends if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already please subscribe and like always Make sure you take care. Bye.